super bored and I'm super hungry. Yeah, I feel like eating at the restaurant, you know, but damn, I can't go outside. I want to eat like lambugo, eat chicken or something. Eating at home is better than going to the restaurant. Yes. But you know what? You can't get the groceries during this time. Veggies at the veggie store, meat at the meat store. Yeah, I wish like there was one place where all of it would be delivered right to our house. And yeah, that would be really cool. Japanese, welcome to Mellow Bites. I'm Porna. And I'm Viva. Today we're making lamb bulgogi. And guess what? We got all the ingredients in home and we ordered from Grocery on Wheels while sitting in our couch. Grocery on Wheels is a very wonderful option for the people who stay in Virudhanagar. They deliver veggies, fruits, meat and groceries in a day. You can stay home, stay safe, enjoy cooking. Let's take a look into the ingredients that we need to make Korean lamb bulgogi. To make lamb bulgogi, you will need 300 grams of boneless meat, some sliced spring onion whites, sliced carrots, chopped spring onion greens, 1 tablespoon of kochunjang paste which is called Korean chili paste. You will also need 1.5 teaspoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of sesame oil, 3 pods of garlic, 1 teaspoon of uh, roasted sesame seeds, half a spoon of salt, a quarter of a pear, and half an onion. If you don't have spring onions available, you can use sliced onions. And if you don't have pears available, you can use some apple. And this boneless meat is very well shredded. Take a look into it. We have to have this kind of shredded meat, thin shredded meat, so that it gets cooked evenly and perfect. Now we're going to blend all of this into a smooth paste. Let's start marinating the meat. Add this blend paste. Then add in the um, soy sauce. I hate the smell of soy sauce. <laughs> Why so? But when you eat? It smells super good. Um, then we're going to add this uh, Korean chili paste into it. If you don't have this Korean chili paste, you can use Sriracha chili paste. It's kind of little garlicky, but then if you are not having it available, you can just substitute it with this. Yeah, then we're going to add in the spring onions, the carrots, and the spring onion whites. And we're going to add sesame oil into it. Give, Give it, it a, a nice taste. blend. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's always better to marinate it overnight. If you can't marinate it overnight, just make sure you marinate at least for an hour. But like when you marinate it overnight, all the flavors get into the meat. So that's it. So the lamb has been marinated very well overnight. Let's start making the bulgogi. Use a grill like this. If you don't have this, you can very well use a tawa. So this grill is very easy to operate and it tastes awesome when cooked in it. Just remove the, like, the top piece. Yeah, remove the top piece and then add some water. Cover it with this grill and switch on the flame. Let the tawa heat for a grill heat for a while and then we'll start placing the lamb meat. Now the grill has been um, heated so I'm just going to place all our nice marinated meat onto the grill. I just love that like noise when you place it, like that flame. It always bring back the cherishing memories we had at the Seoul Garden Nashville. Do you yeah. remember that restaurant? Yeah. And guess what, like the good part of it was like it was cooked right in front of us. Yeah, it's the exciting part to be the, in that restaurant. If you get a chance to go to Nashville, do visit Seoul Garden. As I said earlier, make sure the lamb meat is cut thin. Yeah, we've tried experimenting this um, recipe and when we did it, it kind of turned out chunks, few pieces because few of the pieces were a little fat. Yeah. This recipe we have tried several times to exactly bring like the one we had it at Seoul Garden and it's almost the same. So the center part is very well heated so make sure you move the meat to the center now and then to get it evenly cooked. If you are going to have for a vegetarian option you can marinate the same with mushrooms or you can use pork, beef, chicken, whatever. The marinade is the same. The cooking time only differs. 
just smell the spring on it. Mmm, like everything had a flavor to the meat. The bulgogi is almost cooked. And Take a look into this. Yeah, the meat is very well cooked. And our egg rice is ready. The smokiness of the soy sauce, spring onions with egg rice. The lamb bulgogi is ready and I'm going to transfer it to this plate. Our Korean dish is ready. Lamb bulgogi with egg rice. And you know, Barco, you were wishing to eat it yesterday, Ward. <clears throat> yeah. So today we have it. And thanks to Grocery on Wheels for giving us all the ingredients, too. It's time to taste. Here. Mm. How is it? It's actually really good. I love the smoky food. And don't forget to subscribe this video, like this video, and share this video. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!